check. Music. Hit music. News update. Check. The director of press office of the secretary. Entertainment gist. Check. DJ news content. Check. Everything from the world of sports. Check. Check. This is Fortress Radio live on Facebook. Fortress Radio, giving you strength. Day. Young Gotti. Young Gotti. Hello, people. Welcome to M and B, masculine and bold, where we talk about everything has to do with guys, men, boys, whatever it is. Letter to the boys. That's how we call it on Fortress Radio. Don't forget, first of all, for um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That is just click the subscribe button. That's Fortress Media. Yes, Fortress Media. That's what we are on YouTube. My name is Adida Pakila. Y'all know me as D to the E to the D to the A Data, and I'm here to you know lead the crew as we talk about something very important. Today, yes, talking about guys and guys, guys. I mean, the last episode we talked about, uh, what did we talk about again, AB? Breakfast. Breakfast. Was it breakfast? No. no they, foolish they things. Mean, like, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, we, we had some quite some foolish, foolish things. You know, people <laughs> have been foolishly in love in, in the past. Uh, we hope that they'll be wise you know, after they watch the episode, the second episode, by the way. So, we're about to talk about something more important today. So, people introduce yourself. Before I introduce the guest that we have today, we have, uh, you know, the... Someone that is just odd among us. No, he's not. Okay. Uh, right. well, without the sports, I'm not the sports. Oh, okay, shit. But of course, um, this is um, gen. Did I say gender? Uh, yeah, it's something wrong with you. No, it's not gender. This is um, MRB. MRB, yeah. yeah. Fortress Radio. And I am Samus. Mm-hmm. Sports captain. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Without the hair, I'm the king. <laughs> <laughs> Without the AT, I'm the king. I remember my humble self, Ugele Ibrahim. He called me in the AT or bar. Okay. I'm in the AT or bar. And we have our guest, uh, Mr. TP, in the building. Mm. Yes, so we got TP. Uh, the one. Introduce yourself. Let, let everybody hear about you. you know. Hello, everyone. I'm, mm. My name is Timmy Tokwe uh, You can call me TP. Uh, yeah. TP on the beat. They used to give you TP. Uh, TP yeah, there you? was one time like that. I was TP while T-Pain. I was in skin T-Pain. school. <laughs> I was a good dancer. I was a good, <laughs> very good dancer. So they're not calling you TP. Yeah. They don't see your shall call you. Mm, well, no. I was, I was, I was, I was well, weird. Sammy, Sammy, Sammy has full hair. Like. Sammy. <laughs> Sammy, nah, what, were you, what nice. were you looking at? No, that's, no, no, you know, he actually portrayed on it, like, tipping out full hair. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let the scores between. <laughs> One, zero. No, no, now, you know, the topic we're about to talk about today, it has to do with um, age and, you know, with age comes some certain features. Yeah, actually. Like wisdom. No, like Balde, <laughs> that was our start. It still goes with wisdom. Emotional, <laughs> dad. Yeah, when you go into that stage of what we're about to talk today, I'll uh, talk about today. Yeah. Uh, everything will actually set in the, the, the yeah. stress, the burden of. You know, there are some things that will be happening to you, and you're just like, oh, let nature take its place. And Anyways, and today we're talking about fatherhood. Uh, um, 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 Father's Day is on Sunday. I mean, we need to be celebrated more often. I mean, our come Father's Day is only just one day. One yeah, day in the whole year. Come on. Mothers. And we have like a thousand, mo- a thousand Mother's Day. It's just one answer to that because a lot of people, their mother is their father. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Hey, yeah. 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 Your father is your mother too. Mother the... Actually, you can't you can't compare the the ratio. The ratio What's the percentage? Which which data do you have? Seen a UNESCO give. Ninety to hundred. Ninety to hundred. You don't I'm be sorry, talking about. I'm sorry. Ninety to hundred. Yeah. 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 Harvard research. AB Harvard research. Harvard is on you. Believe me as I did tell you. Harvard is on you. No, maybe it's hazard research. Hazard research. Anyways, it's all good. Um, so basically, if you want to know what Father Day is all about, it's basically a day that we celebrate and honor the men who have embraced the essential role of fatherhood. On this day, um, everybody's meant, you're meant to thank fathers, father figures, talking about uncles, grandfathers, uh, for the sacrifices they make, for embracing the responsibility of nurturing and raising children, and for devotion to their family. Yeah. I know none of us here, you know, we're not your fathers, but we are, we've experienced fatherhood one way or the other. So we're a product of, obviously, we're a product of fatherhood. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so to come here, right? I know what I'm talking about. Timmy's still under his dad. <laughs> it still doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Eh, Kiwani, you need to try to show you go all day. It's not supposed to be above you. I mean, exactly, I wonder. I was like, Oh, okay, so first of all, some... let, let's talk about experiences. Like, uh, what is your favorite experience when it comes to fatherhood? Like, what are the things that you've experienced when you were, um, 
be you and your father and all that, you know, that you can consider that, oh, I remember when I was this, you know, I fight for school, my papa beat me, you know, <laughs> or when, um, you know, I wanted to do something, my dad went out of his way to provide for me something, you know, to, you know, remember, something worth remembering. Who's going to go first? I think the, um, the T-Pain man should actually... <laughs> <laughs> Why are you pushing it? No, I'm not Why are you pushing it, man? You have the symbol yet. of... Uh, oh, father. Father. <laughs> oh, obvious, obvious symbol. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Bow no, no, to our listener. Bow to our listener. Just bow to our listener. Let them see what we're talking about. <laughs> well, I think uh, this is a gang up and uh, well. Oh, wait, just tell us favorite experiences when you. Well, were... um, my dad um, is actually a very cool person. Oh. Um, all through my years growing up, maybe my dad beats me maybe not up to ten times. Ah. Okay. Yeah, very gentle guy. Very good boy. Very good boy. But my mom, man, uh, but my dad, he's a gentle person. But, but really, he, actually, let's compare it. Like, who beats more, mom or dad? More. Oh, well, my mom beat pa, so. Depends. Depends. It depends. depends. I think um, the reason why it, it leans towards the, um, the mom. women's um, mm -hmm. mom's part is because I think she um, has more time with the children yeah. than mm -hmm. the father. Major well, custodian. Mm -hmm. So. Just mm -hmm. closer to the children yes. to know yeah. their so what's your, what's your, your What's your favorite experience when you were young? Like something that you can always Okay, remember. well, um, I can remember all through my childhood. Um, there were, my dad works with a company that um, every year there's a vacation. Takes us round. I've actually been to about, um, out of 36 states in Nigeria, I've been to about um, 17 of them. Wow. And it was on vacation. I, I was actually say. thinking, <laughs> you're going to say uh, 17, uh, out of <laughs> 192 <laughs> words. Like, well, uh, well, I was, I was, well if he had that, if he had that money, he would have. <laughs> what, is, what are you saying, Sammy? <laughs> I don't know. Do you understand? Do you understand? I don't even understand. Like, what what's, what's, what's he trying to do? What's he trying to do? Let's continue, Jerry. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So you went to 17 states. So I've been to 17 states um, on holidays, vacationing oh. around. So, um, that's, everything. That's really cool, my dad. dad's company. And you said what? It's a ticket from your dad's company. Like... You know, it's not even about the vacation. It's about spending time, spending time with, with your dad. Yeah. 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 Everything came through. So, yeah. yes. I so, really so yeah. my, my dad will yeah. take oh, us. No, so sometimes me alone. Sometimes yeah, um, sometimes me and my brother. Hmm. And well, just, good. You're lucky. We just do the father thing, the, the men, men thing. thing. We just yeah. go around and... Um, right, for, let me just quickly ask this question. This is for everyone. <coughs> um, um, do you, um, how many people take alcohol here? No, we I, all I do. We all do. Don't, we don't anymore. You, you don't I, anymore. Okay, anymore. you don't anymore. But at one point, have you ever taken alcohol with your dad? No, not at all. You have you taken alcohol with your dad? My dad doesn't not take that, alcohol. Not actually. that I can recall. I can remember one time like that while I was in school. Um, I saw this um, bottle with him and I was curious. I was in secondary school. I was curious. What's this? So he gave me a, a shot. Gave me like a cup, a small Chris. cup. Hmm. I think it was bitter. Eh? Mm. And I, eventually, I realized it was Guinness. Mm. <laughs> <Out>. <laughs> I was one of my things that pisses me off. Um, <laughs> but now you're right. a master of it, right? No, it doesn't no take I don't, it, I don't right? take beer. It doesn't take beer. Okay. It, takes, it takes alcohol. It takes Radler. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Nice All right, one. Um, over to you, Simon. Your favorite experience. My okay, favorite experience, bro. I'm still young, like um, Tippi mentioned, I'm still under my father. But mm. While I was in secondary school. Daddy brings me to church. <laughs> and while I was in secondary school, mm -hmm. uh, gym, junior um, secondary um, school one, my results was not that. Like, I was always after the position in class. Though. Okay. Uh, but and there was a point that I you know, saw myself as a failure and I was like, okay, yeah, I failed. Mm. Then I got home and my father was like, okay, you did well. You did well. Getting back to school the next time and coming back home, a position dropped again. I like, okay, this mm. is another failure. Not until I got home, my father was like, okay, you still did well. Mm. I like, how did I? How have I performed well? Mm. Like, it doesn't. It's not after the position in class, the figure written. Okay, there. but it's after the, the percentage. Percentage. Like, if there is an increase in your percentage, or no, uh, so, okay. It was more concerned are, about the growth the, rather than the, the position. Definitely, you are improving mm. and well not like i'm i'm always i'm close to my father like we are, we are close like mm. there's no choice i'm the only child there's mm, no choice okay, okay if there was yeah. choice you would have 
Uh, no, go ahead. Uh, there's, no, there's, 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 no, there's no choice. We are, I'm close to my father, I'm close to my mother. But mm. uh, the father also, you know, at times he does some stuff out of the moon. Like, okay, so my father can actually do this mm. to me, do this for me. And, you know, at times where we talk also, I'm like, okay, this thing doesn't happen every time. You know, mm-hmm. your father, you have, it's more like you're having limited time with your father. And that moment you are always having. You just have to cherish appreciate it. it, cherish it at mm, that point. It, like, and, and it's true, man. Uh, I don't know why it happens. It's like that, that most Nigerian men, like, we have few moments with our dad, but we spend more t- time Nothing with our mom, mom yeah. you know. And those few times are just, you know, no long thing, no long thing, mm-hmm. just bass, boost, bass, boost, yeah, bass, 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 for me, I really can't relate with what most people are saying because mm-hmm. you know, it's a long story and not really a good one to share. But then, I think for the past 17 years, I just saw my dad yesterday. That, wow. Like, huh? and wow. It's not like most, like, we are very close to me. You know, it's, not, it's not a part of me I actually discuss because it's not something that I'm cool with. And I currently, I, you know, when we were talking, I was telling you a very lucky guy. Mm-hmm. like. Just have this moment and all that. Mothers are fathers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said that. Mm. I said that. So, well, I don't know. But, you know, I was talking to my neighbor this afternoon about this whole thing. And, you know, I could relate. Like, we could relate. I had someone that could relate that we're in Mm. the same kind of category and all that. But in all sincerity and all fairness, I think, well, generally, I think in a way life might seem unfair to men sometimes, though. Mm. Because they do more. They really get less. But there are some people also, there are some men out there that we should, like, they can do better. Mm-hmm. And you know when you have this fear of, mm-hmm. when your fear of not wanting to turn out to be your father is more than the fear of not making it. Mm-hmm. You know, wow. It's really deep. You know, sometimes I, I realize that when, you, when fear is a motivator for you to do something, you end up actually becoming what you fear if you are not careful. You end up making mistakes. Like you're living your life, I don't want to make mistakes, I don't want to make mistakes. And you realize that you end up making the mistakes, you understand, and all that. Well, that, that's really insightful coming from me. I would really like to ask what, you know, how was your experience yesterday meeting your dad? It wasn't nice because mm. it wasn't nice, truthfully. It wasn't nice, like, it wasn't nice. Like, yesterday was hell for me. I love, like, piles of work from work to do. You know, you know, meeting someone you've not seen for the past 17 years. 17 years, wow. And like, okay, bro, like, okay, you are here now. So what's the... Explain. What's the Did thing? You just say, bro? So, no, no. you know, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot. And one thing is that when, you know, when you see some people that they have less privilege that, and they know, okay, my dad is here, but he doesn't, he can't do much. Hmm. Compared to someone that knows that, oh, I have a father that can actually do, like, do a lot, but you don't get that, not even a dime. Hmm. It's it's different and all that. So well, shout out to all fathers out there. And upcoming fathers. Upcoming fathers who don't to you know end up that way and some people want <laughs> to choose. Do you that mind way, me you know? asking a question? All right, go ahead. Did he choose to or did was it circumstances? Well, you know, you are free to make your choice, you are not free from the consequences. Mm. Everything personally, you know, people Nigerians, we hide under the fact of oh, this uh, I didn't have a choice. I didn't have a choice. This d- destiny thing that destiny can be worked out. Like you know, there are some things that once you make the choices, don't don't say it's uh, one life or something. There are some things that once you do, is inevitable. You there are particular routes that it's more or less like okay, you having a polygamous family. Mm-hmm. Like there's a there's a relative route that you know that once you have polygamous family, this thing is certain. Like that it's bound to happen. happen. Mm-hmm. So you can't say that one is. Uh, you saying one life or something like that. Mm. People don't have to pay for their mistakes forever. I believe in second chance. I believe in trying to, you know, amend things. M- amend things. But you know, when you try to justify a way out of. Mm. All right, now, oh, okay. Good. Now, on a lighter so, note, on a lighter note, you know, I rem- uh, my own experience, one of the things I remember, immediately I asked that question, the first thing that came to my mind was when I was in secondary school, uh, my father and all that, and um, I-, I came home and, you know, everywhere was locked. So I was like, ah. You know, I've been dreaming of jumping the fence for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and uh, I, I knocked the gate, nobody was at home. I, I mean, Popsy was not always at home at that point in time, you get. So, you know, I just decided to... You no know, lie, you did jump out for school. I only did jump out. There was no fence in school. <laughs> just so, the jetty. bam, as I was, you know, I got to the top, about crossing over, my Popsy just saw me. 
Bye. 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 I got the beaten of my life that day, and that was the first and the last time I ever <laughs> ever jumped the fence. But, <laughs> but, but seriously, um, okay. But um, seriously, I, uh, one of the things, lessons I've learned from me, my dad, we're not really that close to be honest with you. You know, just once in a while, I just pa 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 pa, and that's it. You know, and when I was here, my boy, you know, if someone, if I was clear someone in the house, for see good, that's you, you know, <laughs> and all that. But there was a thing he said something that really struck me, and that thing just stuck with me. And he said, he, he was talking about, we were, we were arguing about something, and he said, sometimes people are your mirror. Like, you think you know yourself, but the feedback from people actually listen to what they're saying they are going to reflect what you know doing. and that thing stuck with me for a very long time and that's like the only thing that has stuck with me like one of the most it. important thing you know mm-hmm. that has stuck with me and i really feel that you know more can be learned from our fathers if sure. they are willing to <laughs> talk to us you know we don't have much time but you know from everyone now just one thing what is the most important thing you think um um that has to do with fatherhood. What is the most important thing? Is it provision? Is it being um, being there for your kids? Is it being um, being prayerful? Is it being t- is it teaching your kids? What exactly is the most important thing? Um, that that is the most important factor for father being being a father. Fatherhood. Let me start with Samuel. Well, uh, this uh, would actually now one thing I ask you because yeah, I know if you talk if you talk one or two three things now. Yeah, one or two. No, it, it take oh, gosh. Guidance, like when a father is there, guide your child in the way in which he is to grow and watch he or she in that part. Okay. You've done your part as a parent or as a father. Mm. Like you've done your part and it is left. You know, you can't, you can force um, a horse to the river, mm. but you can't force it to drink. What if we are just quoting from this life? <laughs> With what? what? A super story or something, you know? Ages ago, and when was the last time I even... It's but you remember, job. No, <laughs> that, that was because that was that was that was that was, that was, that was, that was the <laughs> catches um, mm-hmm. adverts they were using there. Mm-hmm. Uh, but this is not um, from this life. Or okay, this, this is we life are lesson. In this life also. Mm. So we need to we learn from mm. what we see in this life. So guidance. That that's guidance your own take. When you guide your child. Okay, so. AB. Well, personally, I think for me is be present. It goes beyond a lot of things, even if you can't provide for one reason or the other just be present because people actually forget what you do but they won't forget how you make them feel mm. so be present like be present just be there whether you don't have money you don't have a dime just be be present in their goods be present there once you are present like mm. a lot of things can be overlooked when you are present okay what about it? tippy oh well um mine will be how to be balanced to balance the entire thing everything and what that thing is key you have to know how to balance every every career, every aspect family, you your know. family your career your kids what you do to them you uh, the, how you react in their presence the guidance the, you have to know find a find a balance in between towards everything mm. that is what makes man a little a little uh, a little technical a little how do i say it now a little manly. A little manly. Let's, let's say that. <laughs> yeah, you have to find a way to balance everything. To balance everything. Otherwise, by the time you are leaning towards one part and you are neg- um, you are not um, neglecting another, you are not doing well mm. in some other parts. Eventually, I would. That, that's what I would say. Eventually, it is that uh, failed part that they will use in judging. In judging you. Yeah. Mm. That, that's true. That's actually true. So, so, so even if you are present, even if you are present, and your presence doesn't have an impact mm. eventually you still become a field or a deadbeat so we have guidance we have been present which means that you know especially for the kids i mean i mean i think it's important that every kid has a father figure yes. whether whether it's your father, 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 father they are divorced they are, or separated, or separated. Like, let them have access yeah, to your father just the fact that you can see that manly figure in your life it's important and for you um you said um being balancing Balance. everything well Coming from one end, I would say responsibility, you know, being responsible. And we have to correct the notion that being responsible doesn't mean you have to always get things right or own up to things that are right all the time. If you get if you get something wrong, own up to it. That's being responsible, responsible too. Yeah. Oh, I got this thing wrong and I'm sorry about it. And, you know, because one of the things I learned, you know, my fathers and all that is that when things go wrong, they don't, they're not bold enough to tell their kids, oh, I messed up. 
I did this wrong. You understand? And no one allow you. One of you, one of you report any. One of you report. Get out of my side. Go away. Yeah. If you're wrong, say you're wrong. Mm. If you and, and I believe that's doesn't most make you thing. less. It doesn't make you less of a man. It doesn't make you less of a father. You made a mistake. Yes, if your child is correcting you about something and you know that this thing is actually, although African, uh, like, you get yeah, out, yeah, get new down there. They feel, they feel they've, 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 <laughs> they've, lived, they've lived in that present life in which we are at this point in mm-hmm. time. Like, okay, whatever you are facing now, I've faced it in the past and I yeah. actually, like, skilled through. So there's nothing you want to tell me now that would actually convince me that this is how mm-hmm. I'm going to do my thing. But things are but different. Things you know? are different. We are not in that age or that time. Mm. anymore. You want to say something, TP? Yes. Um, I think it's uh, what you have said is something that is very, very germane in this, um, in this, in this, in this new age now. Mm-hmm. You can see a lot of people now, when, you, when it comes to guy na- guys now, we, most times we, we find it very difficult to say sorry or to hold up mm-hmm. to, to, to wrong. And all yeah. that. It's because we emulated all these things from our from our parents, yeah. they don't know how to 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 hone up to uh, to wrongs. They always want to. Be, uh, we we all know now. All our fathers, all, they, they were all first class students. <laughs> they always first in the class. <laughs> I ask them, how many people in the class? Only three people. <laughs> so now now imagine that now. But when you tell your kid, okay, I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't do well too. But this is how I was able to mm-hmm. skill you I, exactly. Because the so, truth about it is that one of the things you can say, I mean, you can testify to it that sometimes the way we know how to do things right is by seeing people doing it wrong. Oh, okay. yeah. Exactly. You understand? Exactly. And if you say, oh, I, I didn't do it, then it saves us the stress of doing things wrong exactly. and all that. You know? Exactly. And all that, you know. And basically, teach your child, man. I remember the first time, I, I always say, this, the first time I got the sex, did, I, did you ever get the sex lesson from either of your parents? No. What about you? Did you no. ever? I, I can't. No. <laughs> The day my dad got um, okay, there was one, there was a friend of mine that um, gave me this um, porn mag, so I took it home, hmm. and um, I was looking at it, and there came uh, my dad was approaching, so I quickly hid it under the couch. <laughs> Eventually, I forgot it there. So maybe I think it was nightfall while I was sleeping. Just came to call me inside my room. That hmm. come now took me to the couch. He now showed me the. Eventually, I had to hone up that it, it, it was mine. Hmm. He beat it. <laughs> He beat the shit out of me. For me, it was, it was the, the time I, 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 <laughs> two girls came to visit me. I was secondary school. They came in the morning. I left with them. I didn't come back until night time. I was in secondary school. Then my mom was like, hey. The first thing they said was, hey, hmm, to ba fun yon Hmm. Man le pro. I was like, okay. Then, you know, she was looking at my dad. You know, my dad sat down. She sat down. My dad was... <clears throat> She, she you support. <laughs> you know, but my mom was boiling. My mother, you see, what happens between a man and a woman? I don't need to laugh for my mother. It's in my mind. 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 I mean, it's too late already. But anyways, shout out to all the fathers out there, upcoming fathers. You know, I hope you've learned one or two things. From I love you, this. Dad. Uh, we all love you, Dad, and the mom dads out there. You know, and the mom dads. Yeah, happy Father's Day to our uncles, to our granddads. You know, everyone that trained us. I mean, also to our pastors. Some of the pastors are trained too as father figures. Yes. You know, so it doesn't have to be your biological. Yeah. It doesn't have to be your biological father. You know, everyone out there want to say we love you. Um, happy Father's Day to me. And to everyone that has stood as a father all their lifetime, you know. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Happy Day. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. All right, see you goodbye and let us wrap this up. Ladies first, guy. Ah, ah, man. Ladies, say hey, this, guy. Talk, talk, he. Okay. Be good, be nice. Happy Father's Day. Okay. 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 To be man, to, to pain man. <laughs> Come on, it doesn't even sound good. Anyhow. Anyway, uh, thank you very much. Um, happy Father's Day to everyone. Mm-hmm. Thank you, TP, for coming on the program today. It's nice to have you. Thank you very much. Good to have you soon. Yeah, yes, I know that. All right, the name remains Ali Dakwakela. Dida is the name. Samish, thank you. It's your bar. Yeah, hey, Twiley, Twiley, Twiley. We're back next week with another episode of M&B. Till then, stay Subscribe. safe, people.